Hey guys, it's Peyton back with the Four Heart Ofs, and today um, we are doing another Stage Shock Saturday. Um, this is, I want to say, part three, two, maybe it's four, I think it's part three, to a series that I created. Um, it's called Broadway Characters Playing Other Broadway Characters. So, for instance, um, I'm going to use one from like a different video that I did. So, like, say, like, Elsa was a real person, and she went to audition for a play. She would audition for, I don't know, like, Elphaba. Like, you know what I mean? Um, from Wicked, because obviously they're both kind of like that idea to men's Elsa sort of person. Um, so that's what I mean by Broadway characters playing other Broadway characters. So I have, I think, like, eight of them over here. Um, and let's get started. Um, oh, also, our channel's been growing just a little bit. We've gotten, like, ten subscribers in the past week. Like, that's really cool. So, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, repost, retweet, reblog, revisit, rewatch. Um, and that'll help us out. Um, let me take a thumbnail first before I forget about it. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> okay, that was embarrassing. Okay, first, Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. I think if he auditioned for a show, he would audition for Bach um, from Wicked. Maybe even vice versa, too. Um, sometimes when I do these guys, when I say the first one, that's the person auditioning for the second one. It's not always vice versa. Sometimes it's not. But for this one, it is. I think. Um, I think that because they're both kind of shy, but they both want the girl. And, I mean, I know in box case he doesn't get Glinda, but um, Seymour does get Audrey, um, more or less. So, I think that they would audition for each other. Um, next, sticking with Little Shop of Horrors, I have Audrey 2, which is the plant. Um, this one was kind of a long shot, but I said The Wizard of Oz. Um, this could be from Wicked. Actually, probably just Wicked, not The Real Wizard of Oz, but just Wicked. More or less because you don't see the wizard in the beginning. I know, obviously, like, the plant wouldn't play the wizard when you see the wizard, but I think he'd be a good voice and, like, head for the wizard. I don't know, that was kind of a weird one. But then I had also thought, well, that's kind of a little bit weird, because the wizard's a human. What if he went for something non-human? So what if Audrey 2 auditioned for Scar from Lion King? That would be really cool. And then, to stick with the Scar thing, because I was thinking of so many different things. So Scar, I think, would be a good wolf in Into the Woods. Um, obviously for lots of reasons, they're both kind of liony, wolfy sort of creatures, but, um, obviously Scar is a bad guy, and the wolf is probably one of the, the villains of Into the Woods, obviously like the witch and stuff and the giant, but the wolf is almost just as evil as the witch. So, yeah. Um, sorry, if you guys see me looking over here, I'm looking at my notes. Also, do you guys like my new background? It's not new, I'm filming in Ali's room. Um, Cinderella's evil stepmother, um, from Cinderella or from Into the Woods, I was just thinking more of Into the Woods, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I said that if they would, if she auditioned for a musical, she would audition for Miss Andrews from Mary Poppins. Um, this is one that would not go both ways. Miss Andrews would not audition for the evil stepmother. This is just the stepmother to Mrs. Andrews. Um, and that is because I think, obviously, the stepmother's evil. Um, and Miss Andrews is obviously the evil one in Mary Poppins. Um, but I can just picture her, like, you know, thinking that Jane and Michael are, like, you know, her kids. That she's got to be so rude and evil to and ruin their lives. And then she's got, her, you know, her little poison bottle. Um, not that Cinderella stuff on poisons anybody, but, you know, it's kind of all that Disney sort of thing. <laughs> Next, we have Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. 
I said if he were to audition for a show, he would audition for Gaston. That's just who he'd audition for. Um, obviously they're both like into themselves. Um, but then I thought of another person that uh, Gaston I think would it, um, I was gonna say interview for, um, what's it called? Oh, audition. Audition for. Um, I think he'd audition for Fierro from Wicked. Um, not because he'd want to play the part or because he thinks it's a good part or because they're singing or anything like that. Um, but just because Fierro knows, like, he's like the hot one of the show. Like, when he walks out, obviously everyone in the audience claps and cheers. Which I've never really understood, but obviously, like, the fangirls do that. And Gaston would just be into it for the girls cheering for him. Um, but I think he'd also audition for himself. <laughs> um, Annie from Annie. Um, would audition for Little Red Riding Hood in, um, Into the Woods. I don't think the other way around. I definitely just think Annie to Little Red Riding Hood. And that's because obviously they both have, like, the red going for them. Um, and Annie kind of goes through the struggles and Little Red Riding Hood loses her grandma. Kind of sort of the same thing. And my last one, which is my favorite one. Um, Delia? And the dad from Beetlejuice, I can't think of the dad's name, oh my god. Hold on, let me really think of it. Oh, I, I can't even think of what it starts with. Someone let me know in the comments what the name is. I'm sure I'll look it up later, but oh my god, what's the dad's name? Oh my god, I really can't think of it. That's not cool. Anyways, well, um, Delia and the dad, um, from Beetlejuice. Oh my god, I'm going crazy right now. I think that together, they would audition for, um, the Baron and Baroness Bomb Burst in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, because you know me, we had to do a Chitty Chitty Bang Bang reference in here, because Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is the ultimate stage talk Saturday, stage talk Saturday staple. <gasps> I should make that a little thing. Um, stage talk, Saturday staple, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, I mean, obviously, if you just look at these two pictures, I mean, they're like the same picture, just different costumes, pretty much. Um, they're both goofy. I don't think the Baron and Baroness would audition for the other two. I think it's just this to this way. Um, because I don't think that the Barons think they're goofy. Like, they know they're goofy, but I don't think they think they are. Delia knows she's goofy, you know what I mean? Um, I think they would audition for someone that they wouldn't be fit for because they think they'd be fit for them. Does that make sense? <sighs> Anyways. Guys, I wanted to be so, like, energetic and fun in this video, and I wasn't. Like, I'm never good in our videos. Are we famous yet? <laughs> okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.